This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Bosch dishwasher that isn't draining. Very common problem. So I'm going to check a couple things. I'm going to take off the filter by turning to the right, lifting it up. And I want to look at this little white thing my index finger is touching right here to make sure that it's pushed in really strong toward the front of the dishwasher. It's really locked in. If you find that that's loose, that's probably why your dishwasher is not draining. And you just wanna make sure that you push it in and down to where you feel like it clicks into place and it can't be easily pulled out. If that thing's loose, that covers the drain impeller and it won't be able to create enough pressure to drain. Put this filter back in, lock it, and we'll give it a test to see if um, it's going to drain any better. So I'll press this power button to start it, then I'll press the start button for three seconds or more, and that'll activate the drain cycle. It'll reset any uh, error, error codes, resets the computer, and it'll drain for about a minute and a half, I think. You'll you'll hear like a, a pulse, three or four pulses, and then you'll hear it drain continually. I can hear this one drain a little bit. I can hear the water moving, but not very well. So it could be there's an obstruction in this line, maybe right here, where these two hoses come together. There's a copper hose with a smaller diameter, and that's a point where a lot of times things get caught. So I'll take that apart and check if that might be where the clog is. There's something preventing the water from moving. The drain does work because we can hear it, but it just seems anemic. It should be flowing out a lot faster. If the dishwasher can't get rid of all of the water in a prescribed amount of time, it'll activate an E24 or E25 error. Uh, you might even, on some models, just hear it as a beeping and the cycle will stop. So I would try that little white thing first that we saw in the beginning of the video. If that doesn't work, then you can go to the drain line like we're doing here and see if there might be something stuck in the drain line. I really like to be able to disconnect the drain line like we're doing here from the garbage disposal and put it in a bucket and then turn on the drain and see if maybe something will pop out. If you have one of those air gaps up by your sink, yeah, you can see there's some stuff caught in there. Then you can disconnect it from <clears throat> the air gap. That's a very common place where things get caught. I'm going to check here with my screwdriver, make sure there's nothing caught in the garbage disposal. All right, I'll set it for drain again by holding the start button for three or four seconds. And I can see the water comes out a little bit, but it should be shooting out actually. So this seems still like there's something preventing it from draining. So I'll remove the filter. Here's that plastic piece. I'm gonna push down and move this thing out to take a look at it. I'm going to lock it back in now. I push it in and down so that locked it. I just want to confirm that thing is locked in. because That's a really common problem for this model. So I'll go ahead and fill it with water now and see if it'll drain. I just started a new cycle. Meantime, I'll um, use the kitchen faucet to shoot water through really strong through this tube to make sure the water can flow. That looks really good. So it's definitely nothing caught in that tube. Drain that out. So I'll put that together here pretty soon. Okay, I'm going to press that for three seconds or more to create a drain cycle. I'll close it and see if it's any better. All right, I'm going to pull that little part out, that impeller cover, and I'm going to take my screwdriver and just spin that little propeller thing down there, that impeller, make sure it can move easily. Sometimes a little piece of glass or something will get caught down there and prevent that impeller from moving fast enough. 
but it looks good. So I'll go ahead and lock that white plastic piece back in, put the drain cover back in. I did notice that the dishwasher seems to be pushed in toward the back. It's It shouldn't be that far back. It should be a little bit more out toward the front. So I'm gonna pull the dishwasher out toward me by about an inch and a half. If it's pushed back too far, the drain line behind it can get a, a crimp in it um, so that the water can't move quick enough. So that probably is what's going on with this dishwasher. It was never really mounted in the cabinet correctly. So it got pushed back too far as it was being used. So I'm gonna just kind of wiggle it out, get it more out to the front, and then I'll test it again. That's an unusual reason for a dishwasher not draining, but um, in this case, I think that's probably what happened. Okay, I'll press three seconds and close the door and that should start the drain cycle. It'll pulse, so you'll see some water come out, they'll stop more water and then after about the third pulse, it'll come out pretty fast. There we go. That's a little bit better volume right there. So I think that's probably what was causing it is that tube was just being squished by the dishwasher itself. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna put it back together. So I'll put that tube back in. I actually don't recommend having a drain tube set up like this one. I think they just didn't have the right drain tube, so they kind of Mickey Mouse one together. But um, these tend to get clogged, so I, I wouldn't use it. I would just use the standard one that comes with the dishwasher. Okay, I'm going to put the hose back on the garbage disposal, get it nice and tight. And then I want to bend that hose up in a big arch that goes way up as high as the sink and that way water won't flood the sink and then flood the garbage disposal and then flow backwards into the dishwasher so I'm going to hold this drain up with some wire so it forms a nice big arch it goes as high as the sink level and then if the sink ever flooded it won't flood the dishwasher All right, I'll set the drain cycle. Let's see if that's gonna work. These are really good dishwashers. They uh, have some of the best consumer rating. They're quiet. They clean the dishes really well. We have a full contingent of water now. You can tell by looking at the filter handle, the round filter handle, the water is at that level that means that's exactly where the water level should be on a healthy dishwasher so we'll see if we can get rid of all that water i'll press that start button for about three to four seconds and that'll activate the drain cycle and it'll reset the computer close the door and it should hear it pulse about three or four times and then it should be a continuous drain So it looks good, it looks like it got rid of all the water. And I think that was the problem. That drain line was just being crimped by the dishwasher, which was pushed back a little bit too far. But these are some things you can do with your Bosch dishwasher when it won't drain. The other thing to check again is if you have an air gap up near the top, you can uh, make sure that's clear. That's a common place where things get caught. Make sure your filter's locked in. Just doing a little more testing. When I fix something, I always like to test it at least three times just to make sure that it's going to work really good for the customer. Yeah, that got rid of all the water. That's great.
So now that I have the dishwasher really straight to hold it in position, I'm going to add a couple of Phillips head screws on these brackets and they're going to go right into the plywood. Be careful not to go up too far because you could actually poke a hole in the top of your uh, countertop. So just go up enough to hold those brackets in place and that will keep the dishwasher from moving back and forth. So that did the tricks. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.